Okay, create new world. Hardcore. Series 2. More world options. Done. Create a new world. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Good spawn. We got a jungle spawn near horses for leather. Some sheep over there. Let's run over here. Also, could have a village in that spruce wood forest. That's a good wood supply. This looks like a good world. All right, we're gonna do the classic Minecraft tree breaking. Like this. Make sure I'm G bombing this on because that was annoying. Just gonna break these okay, three pieces. A lot of dirt. There we go, there's some stuff. And cool. Why does it not have the torches there? I gotta make some more sticks. Make a stone axe. And then I'm smart because you make the pickaxe first. Noah, you make the pickaxe first. It's not like I did a hardcore world and made dumb mistake of forgetting that I'm playing my computer so there shouldn't be a lag problem. Okay, last time I went mining at the beginning, I think I'm going to do that again. Unless I see a village near here. By the looks of it, no. But... You have a large supply of wood, so we're going to grab a little bit extra wood. I think we're going to head underground. I actually got a way better spawn in this world. I think what I'm doing, I'm going to find a village after we mine for a little bit. I don't want to have to kill the sheep, but I didn't get any iron yet, so... Do we wait to kill them? So we find iron, because then we could... How many are there? There's just one here. So we can try to shear them to keep them alive. Alright, don't mind me. I'm just going to end the recording, and I'll join you guys back in a minute after I do some mining for a while to get enough iron to get some sheep shears and maybe some other stuff. Okay, it should be daytime now. I got my furnace, everything. I just was mining until it turned day. I was using the uh, F3 screen, because you could see the day numbers. You, it's right next to local difficulty underneath the biome. We're not actually a plains biome, which is actually pretty awesome. I'm going to have to go kill some cows, preferably, as well as some sheep. Let me get my furnace here. My, also, yeah, by the looks, I got some of the diamonds. There's still three. It was an eight vein of diamonds. So get the fortune three, just like I did in the last 
series before I end up epically dying like a stupid head by accidentally double clicking and doing dumb crap. But let's make some shears so we can get a bed to make survival way easier. While also trying to look for something I can get food from. So I do need a food source. And I can do a farm. It is possible. Need more seeds in this. I also need sugar cane. For the uh so I have enough wool for a bed. Don't have a saddle, this is so useless. Leather. XP. There we go, we already got three leather. We need out of the 45 we need. Shoot, I could actually get a chicken thing going here. Shoot the chicken, stop following me. I gotta get back so I can cook this pork chop. Okay, I need to make some sticks. I think I'm going to build it right over here. Okay, this is going to be, need to be way bigger. We're out of wood. Come on, chickens. Put this in here. I need to then. Oh, yeah, I should probably put the food in first, actually. Well, that's actually, we can make a bed real quick. Right, 
I'll join you guys back in a couple minutes once I get some of this stuff progressed through, and you'll go, you can join back and see more progress. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna give you an update progress to end off this video. As you can see, it cooks some chicken from the chicken farm over here. It's going pretty strong. We're getting eggs, which I'm gonna use to make an automatic chicken farm. We got a wheat farm going. We've got sugar cane going. Working on recreating as much of the massive farms that it did in the last world because they worked so well. It's so helpful to have these. You always want to have them, but I'm going to go see if I can breed the cows after I shear the sheep. I'm going to start working slowly on getting wool now for the future, for villager stuff and everything. Can any of these adults breed? There we go. Chickens cannot breed. Raiders. I didn't even see them in the other world. It's the first time I've run into them. Ever. I don't want to actually fight them. I'm not... Wait, no. I have iron armor now. Forgot about that. They saw me. We could be friends, right? I don't want to do a raid anyways, but we could get emeralds. He only got a banner. That was it. I was hoping to get emeralds. But yeah, that, that was unexpected completely. You know what? Let's put this ominous banner right where it belongs. We're cracked. Yeah, I have iron armor now. I got arrows sticking out of me. We got chicken farm, sheep farm, cow farm for the leather. We got the diamonds for the enchantment table. We're working on the process of that. Wheat farm. Didn't do any mining at all in this time. Did make a campfire to cook my beautiful chicken. Whoops. I've got to breed my sheep. So sheep is another secondary food source. Chickens are my primary. After, well, eventually the cows will be my primary. There should be another breedable cow then. Right? There you go. And I'm going to breed my sheep. Chapow. Chapow. Breed. I sure you. But yeah, this is amazing. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Expanding. Our prospects, our farms, everything is expanding. Got big sugar cane stuff going down. I'm going to quickly play, place the next row here. Got a bucket with the water in it. I hate doing that. Got to remember, I do have bad omen. So, I either had to drink milk or do a raid when I get to my first village, which is probably not planned. So, you know what? We don't want Bad Omen right now, so we're just going to go get some cow milk. It's not wanting to have Bad Omen, but I did get to fight some patrols. Right, that's the first episode of this new hardcore series, too. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next episode. Peace.